Welcome to EWTN's Religious Catalog. EWTN's founders, our beloved Mother Angelica, first brought this program into the homes of EWTN viewers in 1996. Since then, Religious Catalog has offered thousands of Catholic products, including good books, beautiful religious art, rosaries and medals, statues of Our Lord, Our Lady, the saints, and crucifixes, all designed to enrich our spiritual lives. Religious Catalog is also your source for many of the favorite programs seen here on EWTN, including exclusive series, specials, live shows, and feature films. I hope you have a blessed reminder of the love of Jesus in your house and in your heart. Hello everyone, I'm Johnette Benkevic, host of Women of Grace Live and Women of Grace seen on EWTN television Monday through Friday at 11 o'clock a.m. I'm so happy to be with you here today on EWTN's Religious Catalog television program and I'm joined here by Elena Rodriguez and Elena is the producer for Women of Grace Live heard on EWTN radio but also seen here on EWTN television because you are the producer for Theology Roundtable and that is also broadcast on television. Yes, it's one of those wonderful shows where there's actually a convergence and it's radio with TV with online. So it's just a wonderful way to spread out the good news of the gospel, sharing the splendor of truth on EWTN, like Mother Angelica used to say. Absolutely. Well, we have so many beautiful resources to we offer do. the people today, don't we? We do, and, and it is Mother Angelica's very great desire, and, and she was the founder of this program, came yes. up with this idea to have holy reminders and to be able to take them out there and put them in our homes, in our workplaces, to share them, and we get the wonderful opportunity to do this together today, John Ed. That's exactly right. In a in a certain way, our homes can become, if you will, a means of evangelization in and of themselves. As we welcome people as guests into our home or people just come in through service calls and all kinds of other reasons, we have these religious reminders in our home and oftentimes it sparks conversation. I know that that's happened with me any number of times. Yeah. I, I have stories as well. Yes, and so we want for all of us to dig our heels into this new evangelization and to be those evangelizers that our Lord would have us be for this hour, day, and time. And we're going to start off with some of our holy reminders today. And we're going to start off with one saint that I am thinking you probably know and have sought intercession from many numbers of times, and that is Saint Jude. Now, you know, Saint Jude is the patron saint of hopeless cases, desperate situations, and he's also the patron saint of hospitals. He was one of Jesus' apostles, and he wrote a book of the New Testament, which was named after him. We celebrate his feast day this week on October the 28th, and to celebrate his feast day, we're so very pleased to be able to offer you this lovely St. Jude statue. Now, I'm going to put it here so that we can come in close on it and take a look at it. It is beautifully, beautifully detailed. St. Jude is always pictured with a flame above his head, and that flame signifies his presence during the descent of the Holy Spirit on that Pentecost when all of the apostles and disciples were gathered in the upper room along with our Blessed Lady and other holy women. St. Jude was an apostle and he was also the nephew of St. Joseph, which is very interesting, Elena. I did not know that. I didn't That's either. fascinating. Yeah, so here's St. Jude and he was Jesus' first cousin and, and that even makes him more dear to my heart, you know, than he already is. This statue stands on a base and it has a small drawer in front of it. Now, let me tell a little bit about this drawer. There's a little scroll inside of there, but it's an opportunity for you also to place your petition to St. Jude right inside mm. of this statue. Now, as you do that, you're offering that petition to the Lord through the intercession of this wonderful saint. The statue measures 10 and 3 quarter inches. It'll fit on a bookshelf very nicely or on an end table right there in your kitchen sink so that you know exactly, you know, that this petition is always with you. Uh, we also have a lovely booklet about St. Jude. And here it is. This is St. Jude. He is uh, St. Jude Thaddeus, helper in desperate cases. And in these desperate circumstances, we always have the sure help of St. Jude when we turn to him for his intercession. He was a martyr for the Catholic faith. And this powerful saint is invoked in cases of extreme need, grievous illness, poverty, and when circumstances seem hopeless. Plus, 
He is a special defender and helper in regaining purity. So if you've fallen away from the virtue of chastity, St. Jude can certainly be a profound intercessor for you and help you to recover that virtue and make it part of the way in which you approach the throne of our Lord Jesus Christ. St. Jude has obtained remedies and comfort for countless people who have turned to him in prayer. And speaking of prayer, one very beautiful way in which we can seek the petition of St. Jude is through praying this chaplet to him. Now I'm going to hold this up for you. Uh, this is a very, very lovely chaplet. The chaplet features green marbled beads. They're variegated, uh, a very deep green, very rich. And when you pray this novena to him, you pray three Our Fathers, three Hail Marys, and three Glory Bees for nine consecutive days. Elena, do you know how it is that the novena happened to uh, come about as a religious devotion? I've heard Pentecost. Yes. Nine days. That's exactly right. And we remember very, very well that it was nine days from the ascension of our Lord to Pentecost. The apostles and disciples, our Blessed Lady and the other holy women were gathered in that upper room praying for the coming of the paraclete, as Jesus told them to do. That was the first novena. And we do the very same thing uh, as we pray our novenas. We also so want to recommend that you pray the rosary. It is probably, I think, one of the most profound forms of, of prayer that we have next to the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass. And this is a special St. Jude rosary. Now let me show you this one. Here we go. Uh, it's, it's really it's beautiful. very pretty. I mean, the beads just sparkle. They capture the light so lovely oh. here. There we go. And so this pretty rosary consists of round five millimeter green glass beads. They have an aurora borealis coating. And there's a full color picture right here on the centerpiece of St. Jude. And the uh, crucifix is three lobed. And you can see that this way. And what do you think that would be for? We know, the Trinity, right? So it comes with a coordinating holy card and all of these are available for you right out there at EWTNRC.com. We're gonna give you all of that information as well as the item numbers when we come to the close of our program. This is really hard to believe and I can't get over it. Advent is almost nipping at our heels here. Where is time going? I don't know. <laughs> it's <laughs> rocking away. It's, like, it's going to be here yeah. in a very few <laughs> short weeks. So it isn't too early to begin to prepare, right? So in fact, if we start our preparations early, the chances are it's going to be a better Advent for us mm -hmm. spiritually, mm -hmm. but we're also yeah. going to have all of those preparations ready as we enter into the holy season it of Christmas. So I want to show you a couple of Advent wreaths that we've got here. First, we're going to begin with this beautiful one that has ivory poinsettias. It's made with artificial pine branches and it's decorated with ivory poinsettias. And as we look at it, we see that the leaves are green and we've also got some gold leaves that are located here. It's accented with gold berries. It measures 14 inches in diameter. Now we have it pictured here for you with candles. As you know, that's very much a part of the Advent wreath. These candles are sold separately and they're available for you at EWTNRC. And the box includes one rose and three violet tapers. Each candle measures 10 inches high. This absolutely has captured my heart. Yes, yes. Uh, you know, I'm a grandma, seven, <laughs> <laughs> seven grandchildren. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Very excited about that fact and, and this moment in my life. And this is a fun and festive Advent wreath that's designed especially for your children and young children. These felt candles attach with a hook and loop tape and have a glittery felt flame. So each week you can add a different one of the candles to the wreath until we arrive at that fourth week of Advent. The wreath measures nine and three quarters inches in diameter and this is going home with me today. I can tell you it's going home with me today. <laughs> Definitely. I have met your beautiful grandchildren. Thank and you. They are just lovely. I'm a big fan of your grandchildren and I'm a big fan of all children and this particular item is going to be good for children and for the children and all of us as well this is a standing advent calendar this freestanding advent calendar measures 18 inches by 9 inches and it features a tender nativity scene with shepherds the magi it's a beautiful setting a beautiful scenario there are 24 numbered windows with bible text on the back of each flap. So you can actually open up the flap 
and there is a beautiful decoration behind every one of those doors so you can actually use this to tell your children your grandchildren about the story of the nativity and they can try and guess what's behind door number one door number two so you can turn it into a game and have fun and then let them hold it pull it out pull it apart pull it open and be able to enjoy it wonderful tool and it is beautiful every single door has something behind it and helps you tell that wonderful story and those are the stories that we treasure for life mm -hmm. and there is our Lord Jesus Christ being born in the manger. You know, I want to comment on this. I think it's so very important to begin traditions with children. Yes. And, you know, I, I look at my adult children now mm -hmm. and they remember all of these little things that we would do at the different times of the year. And it makes deep impressions mm -hmm. on them. And the children that will work with their parents and, and, and appreciate these scripture passages and learn the story of the nativity via this lovely uh, little offering, I think will treasure those memories. And they'll talk about it even as adults, which is what people do. Yeah. I'm a witness to that. Uh, my grandmother uh, with my mother fled from Cuba. Mm -hmm. And the only thing that they were able to take out sneak out was a, a, a statue of the baby Jesus that came all the way from my grandmother's family in Spain and it is a treasured treasured family uh, heirloom if you will mm -hmm. that we have every every Christmas we put out the statue of the baby Jesus and it was because of my grandmother who thought we're going to take, um, it was taking a really big risk yes. to, to sneak it out of Cuba and they were able to manage. Yes. And so the, the way they did it is they, they dressed it up as a, as a little doll and my mother, who was a, a teenager at the time, maybe a little bit old to be carrying a doll, but she was carrying the doll and that's how they were able to sneak out the precious baby Jesus Isn't statue. Isn't that a beautiful thing? And, and this, this my, my images of Christmas as, as a little girl all go back to that. That is so touching. And and so these holy reminders, you know, that, that Mother Angelica um, started for us in, in terms of being able to purchase them through religious catalog can really become these very meaningful heirlooms that we pass on from one generation to the next yeah, and and we find ourselves in them mm -hmm. and, and in the case mm -hmm. of, of your situation you know it's, it's a way that the whole family is tied together yes. in this mystical body of our Lord yes. Jesus Christ yes. it's beautiful Th yes. thank you for sharing that yes. story Elena yeah. and it, it yeah. all started with with being bold so be bold. <laughs> That's right. That's and we have true. other items that you that can help you to be bold. And one of them is this gold leaf paper cut nativity that I'm going to show you. I'm going to walk over here. And it is a beautiful six piece set. And it, it features gold leaf paper cut detailing. It is absolutely lovely. It is made of dolomite, and this set includes Saint Joseph and our most precious mother, and with the baby Jesus, of course. She is holding the baby Jesus with such loving care in her arms. And of course, the Magi, Casper, Melchior, and Balthasar are here and ready to offer their gifts to the, our Lord Jesus Christ, the baby king. The largest figures are eight and a half inches high. It is absolutely beautiful. The nativity of our Lord being such a great news for us, the news of redemption, our Lord Jesus Christ made man. It's a great announcement indeed. And to celebrate that announcement, we have this gold leaf paper cut angel, which I'm going to show you right here. It is a beautiful, beautiful Christmas angel reminding us of the glorious birth of our Savior, our Lord Jesus Christ, ready to make that announcement, ready to play the horn. It is robed in red with gold leaf paper cut detail and this statue measures approximately 12 and a half inches high to remind us of the great news of the gospel, the Our Lord Made Man. Well, statues do rem remind us of holy moments and they're a great also educational tool and we have a lovely statue to present to you this is the holy family the holy family statue as we look at this statue we can meditate on the holy family on their trials their faith their love for one another and we can try to imitate that it's a great reminder sitting there in our kitchen table in our dining room in a bedroom our families should look more like Jesus. You know, Johnette, we have a wonderful song that we sing during Mass in Latin America, and it goes something like, if all 
parents were to imitate St. Joseph and our Most Blessed Mother, if all fathers really modeled after St. Joseph, if all mothers really modeled after the, our, our Most Blessed Mother, if all children were like the little child Jesus, this would be such a different world. And that's what we sing in that song. And just, it just rem I'm reminded of that at this moment. Yes. It is a beautiful statue that we can tell each member of our family, model yourself after St. Joseph, after our Most Blessed Mother. And kids, you be like the Lord Jesus Christ. Beautiful statue measuring 12 and a half inches high. Mm -hmm. And ornaments have a decorative reason, but most of all, they have a reason for us to spread the good news of the gospel. And that's what these beautiful paper cut angel ornaments are doing, spreading the good news of the gospel, celebrating the birth of our Lord. A pretty set of ornaments, it consists of three colorful angels with musical instruments, a flute, a horn, and a violin. Each angel is made of dolomite stone, measures five inches high, and is covered with exquisite gold leaf paper cut filigree detailing. And we have a couple of beautiful gold cross ornaments. I'm going to show them to you right here. And these are lightweight cross ornaments. They are ideal for the Christmas tree as an added decoration when wrapping a special gift. You can use it in that way again. It's the set includes two two different, one of each style. So they're beautiful, they're, they're glittery, glittery, and each cross measures about six inches high. And we wanna show you what it looks like in a beautiful, on top of a beautiful present ornament. We have, we have a gift for you. <laughs> here it comes. So here, here is what it looks like, how beautifully it decorates your, the gift, uh, the box, the wrapping. And it is also an opportunity for you to give a cross to that special person for whom you're wrapping this gift. That person can also use the cross as a decoration on, on his and her Christmas tree in their home or pass it along in another gift. So it's the gift that keeps on giving. And it's beautiful ideas to use these, the set of these two golden crosses. I'm going to put this gift down right here and continue to show you because we do have uh, beautiful things. There is a saint's calendar and a monthly planner. Yes, and let me just uh, hold this up for everybody to see. This is truly, truly a beautiful, beautiful annual planner. Uh, this beautiful saint's calendar uh, represents 70 fascinating mini biographies and illustrations along with the feast days from both the Novus Ordo and the Tridentine liturgical calendar, as well as days of fast and abstinence, ember days, and vigils. I have used this calendar throughout this year that we're currently in, the year of 2016, uh, and I am so excited uh, to have already received my 2017 calendar. You're ready. I love it. It's beautiful, <laughs> yes, and I love reading about all of the saints on these very individual days. It also contains an alphabetical list of over 700 patron saints. Are you always looking for the patron saint of this or that, Elena? Mm, yes. I, I, some days I wonder, like, I don't remember what is the saint of the day today. If I had this calendar, I wouldn't be wondering. You wouldn't be wondering at all. And so we've got all of these beautiful opportunities for you in this one planner. Uh, it has a day of a glance spread for ease of scheduling and extra pages at the back for notes. The spiral bound planner features plenty of room to write each day. And that's another feature that I like about it. In the, in the front end of this planner you have the uh, you have the months you know that are uh, just giving us the the, the complete the overview mm -hmm. right of the entire mm -hmm. month so mm -hmm. we can take a look at that and uh, you know I do make little notations I will say on these pages as well but then as you move back into the individual oh, chapters yeah, the you've got day. plenty of wow. space in there and I want to tell you here's another little feature you can actually use this space to be your journal Oh, isn't that a wow. great idea? Yes, yeah, I so, didn't think of it that yeah, way. Yeah, you can, you can write little notes about how the Lord acted in your life that day, uh, the various miracles that you saw taking place within your family, maybe a special petition that, that you were offering to the Lord, and then several days later you can, you can note the answer to that prayer. Uh, it can actually become your journal for you. So it, it really couples as, as a marvelous um, uh, twosome here. Yes, Not only yes. a calendar, but also your journal. It's so, so encouraging to go back in time 
and oh yes, my goodness, I was praying about this and I was going through this I know. trial and trouble and here the Lord, how he has provided for everything wonderfully in a way I wouldn't have even thought it could be possible. Yes, and so then you can yeah. keep it because it's very nicely constructed. I mean, the, the cover itself is, yeah. is cardboard, mm -hmm. uh, beautifully illustrated cover. Yeah as you can well see. And then again, you do have those illustrations of the saints. Mm -hmm. And you'll keep them year after yeah. year. It'll be your journal. You'll also be able to go back to those calendars and take a look and see what you were doing mm -hmm. in a particular yeah, week or a yes. particular year. Remember yeah. some important dates that have happened in your life. And I do want to tell you something else that's very exciting. I don't know how you feel about this, but this really gets me going. For the next several weeks, every online order, did you hear that? Every online order comes with a free gift. And what is the free gift? The Christmas with the Nuns of Our Lady of the Angels Monastery CD. Oh my goodness. Isn't that something? Oh. So uh, that's really quite a treat. When they sing, it's like all heaven opens up. I know. And You're to be able to have it, mind. take it with you on a CD. Oh, yeah. yeah it's, it, I mean, what, what a deal, right? So this special offer is good with online orders only from now until December the 16th when you use the coupon code NOEL when ordering. So you're going to want to remember that word, NOEL. That's the coupon code. When you use that coupon code, you're going to get that beautiful CD for free. Now this one is a little bit heavier. I need some <laughs> help here. <laughs> Saint Maximilian Kolbe. This are the writings of Saint Maximilian Kolbe, the martyr of charity. Saint Maximilian Kolbe, who was murdered in the Auschwitz concentration camp, had a full and fruitful life. The Franciscan friar had spent his last 23 years as a priest, an evangelizer, a media mogul, believe it or not, a media mogul, a social commentator, a missionary, and a religious reformer. His life's work was cut short at age 47. Saint Colby nonetheless left behind an impressive body of writings. In the 1950s, the English-speaking world first began reading bits and pieces of those writings. Now, the entire wide-ranging array of those writings are collected in this two-volume compendium. And it comes with a bonus. Let me show you this. It comes with a book of prayers to seek the intercession of St. Maximilian Mary Colby so that you can combine all the knowledge, tradition, and faith and, and appreciation for where our faith comes from, the life of this wonderful saint, along with a little prayer book. It's a little, uh, a little bonus that comes in there. I'm gonna put it right in there so that when you buy this book, you are all ready to go. Two volume companion set. set. You know, St. John Bosco once said, only God knows the good that can come by reading one good Catholic book. So make sure that you get your fill of these wonderful books, put them in your bookshelves with plenty of books that will strengthen your faith. Yes. We need all the encouragement we can get. We have the wonderful opportunity to read more about the writings of St. Maximilian Mary Colby are available as well as all the items that we showed you today on our show. You can go to EWTNRC.com. That again is EWTNRC.com. It's our pleasure to give you now a recap of each of the items that we showed you today along with their item number and the value for which you can have them by simply going out to EWTNRC.com. First, we showed you the St. Jude statue. Item number 61287, it is $40. Next, we showed you the St. Jude Thaddeus Helper in Desperate Cases booklet. It is item number 15. Nine six, and it is three dollars. We showed you that beautiful chaplet of St. Jude featuring the green marble beads. Item number 88C, that's 88C, it can be yours for only seven dollars. Next, we showed you the St. Jude green glass bead rosary. Item number 967J you and it is ten dollars next we showed you that beautiful pine advent wreath with the ivory poinsettias will grace any table item number three eight nine three nine for just thirty one dollars the candles for the advent wreath item number nine five seven four three are seven dollars the precious children's felt advent wreath is yours 
Item number 34239 for only $10. Well, we also showed you Jesus in the manger, the standing advent calendar that had the little opening doors. It can be yours for only $6. And uh, if you can write down that item number, that would be BB902. That's B as in boy, B as in boy, 902. We also showed you, and this was a new item, the gold leaf paper cut nativity set. Beautiful. $75, that was a six piece set. And the item number is 30849. We also showed you, and this is again a new item, the gold leaf paper cut big angel. And that can be yours for $29.50. The item number is 30844. We showed you that precious Holy Family 12 inch statue with St. Joseph, the Virgin Mary and our Lord Jesus Christ, baby Jesus. For $45, it can be yours. And the item number is 27054. We showed you that beautiful set of three gold leaf paper cut angels ornaments. And that is $21 for the set of the three. And the item number is 30843X. A little bit of a longer item number, I'll read it again, 30843X. We also showed you those beautiful cro gold cross ornaments, the set of two. It's $6 for the set of two. And again, a little bit of a longer item number, 33738X. That is 33738X. Next, I showed you the Saints Calendar Daily Planner for 2017 and suggested that you could also use this as your journal. It is item number 2603. It is only $16. We talked about the two book compendium, The Writings of St. Maximilian Mary Colby. And the set of the two books, the compendium is a total of $95 and the item is 10240. To place your order, please visit EWTNRC.com. That's EWTNRC.com. It's safe and secure 24 hours per day, seven days per week. We accept Visa, MasterCard, Discover, and American Express. That's EWTNRC.com, or you can also call 1-800-854-6316. Remember to use the coupon code NOEL when you place your order so that you can receive that beautiful CD of Mother Angelica's sisters singing Christmas hymns. Thanks for joining us today. Visit EWTN.com and sign up to receive our e-blasts. And don't forget to visit and like us on Facebook. This show is here to help you to become holy, to help your family to become stronger in union with God and union with each other. I want to feed your family and you with beautiful books, beautiful articles, the saints, crucifixes, just something of God for your living room, for your kitchen, in your car, wherever. I hope and pray that this program, this catalog program, will help us to be family. First God's family, and your family. And that's what this network is all about, family. Thank you.